almost didn't throw the white flag. I was going to give you one more lap. The nine running on the tires. He'll slide up off a turn of four, Jerry. You've got a new race leader, Matthew Lowe. Your race leader with four laps to go. All right. He told you to tell that joke. <laughs> Hey, it's 3-7, that's 21, and that is a <laughs> long way from your birthday, Ryan Clark. Happy birthday, 25 to you. <laughs> Happy get all Marilyn birthday. Monroe. No, I could. No, please don't. <laughs> Happy birthday. It's your birthday today. It is. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. We got you a puppy. <laughs> no, we didn't. I don't think you're going to give me your dog. Well, we got you some. Uh, Virginia did some very good decorating in here with pictures of some, you. You got some great pictures of Ryan. How good they are. Some of them I forgot ever existed or happened. Did you forget that I one of lipstick? I don't blame you. Some yeah, there's of them. A, you are just incredibly this young. one here was <laughs> you're like inc- incredibly young looking. That was back. So this. The, so how long? How when you were the queen? Oh, now are you the? Are you that now? That was the, Halloween. Here. Halloween. It's just, this one's this is a good one. Oh yeah, look, look at this. That. Is like Ryan, like that um, was when that's I worked, like. Oh, I'm gonna take, I, somebody I worked, bring me a stick. This won't come out. I'm in the woods. <laughs> no, the when studious I Ryan worked for Car Pack. Lance Goins was I'm the photo there. editor of Hawkeye Racing News, oh, and we go out and you look like hey, you deep in thought. No, no, no. I'm in the it's woods. Sam Squinch. We found the Sam <laughs> Squinch kids. He's over there. He's, He's over, over there, there taking a poop on the log. I'm gonna sit over here and wait for him to come back by. Oh, Damn, man. Sam Squanches. Oh, yeah. That? I don't know. Do you have a what knife? is that? Do you have one? a knife in your hand in this one? Oh, my God. That was. Wait, I think I was. World? I was like 20 years older. That's like, a Pizza Hut. That's a Pizza Hut here in town. Like, where's my pizza? I was. Where's my damn breadsticks? I want damn it, I said no pepperoni. Oh, oh my God. Look at my you and I ID from 1992. What's the J? I was 18 for? years old. Oh, my Lord. What's the J for? Mm-hmm. I'm in it. <laughs> right. Way to steal my identity. Oh, no. What's your middle name? What's the name for? Tell us. Why do you want to know my middle name? Uh, because this is Ryan J. This is Ryan, Ryan J. 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 The people want to know. People don't need to know my middle name. My name is Brett A. Root. You are. A is for asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. I'm J- my J is for hey, jackass. Hey, people think I'm an asshole. I'm like, well, that's my middle name. Right. So it fits. Who brought those uh, in here? Those I don't are know. Virginia did. It's this one. Oh, this one just, you look Hey, just Dollar, good. what's your 20? Oh, that's, look at that. I was in a CQ <laughs> radio. He's on. He's going to get his beat up at Casey <laughs> saying oh, that. Hey, come on there, trucker. Come on, 19, break one nine, break one nine. Who's got a big old, big old rig for me? That's a on. 1985 Oldsmobile Calais. Oh, yes, it is. With a CB? With a CB. I had a CB radio. <laughs> Oh, the you guys right around town? Ah, hey, we got us out. We played, well, you know, I, we got we played Fox Hunt. We, we I, played Fox We played Fox I hate Hunt, when actually. I get shit in my mind, and I just don't know if I can say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say, Jim? Gonna say? Go ahead. Was the, the, the CB, was that before Tinder and Grinder and all that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> way before Grindr. Oh. The only Grinder then was what you put your Actually, some I'm friends. here at Riverside Park. No, that's what we used to do. We used to, we used to play Fox Hunt. Watch for me. I'm going to give you two flashes. You let me talk, time. Jerry. It's my birthday, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we used to play Fox Hunt. What's Fox Hunt? What's Fox Hunt? It, What's you Fox would... Hunt? <laughs> hey, Nate, you want to know what Fox Hunt is? <laughs> no, we used to you used to hide somewhere, and other people with CBs would try to find you. They'd ask you oh. questions, and you'd give them answers based on where you were, and they'd have to come They're find like you. It was kind of neat. Man shit. Like Pokemon? Kinda. I mean, pre-Pokemon so, shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember once we actually hid out here behind the building and the police came through <laughs> because <laughs> apparently Miss Root called the police or something and said, I don't know if she knew that people were out here. You know, we weren't oh, causing any problems. Back here. We weren't causing any problems. <laughs> that, that is fascinating. Oh, shut up, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Just fascinating. <laughs> Hey, how can we follow ago. this up? Let's have Dave talk about rules. Yeah. <laughs> we'll really put everybody to sleep. <laughs> And there's always Jim's first phone call. Tin can on a string. <laughs> the big five zero. Oh, well, congratulations, Ryan. Nifty, nifty, it's look like, who's fifty. Happy birthday! Yeah, thank you. It's like halfway to a hundred. Yeah. Don't I look at some of these pictures. Like I think this, I'm more this than picture. Halfway. This picture is you. Obviously, I know. I know Martin, that story and Bill too. Bill Martin. 
that you're sitting on the steps right out here yeah. that go upstairs. The I, only, that picture I mean, was taken a day after I got out of the hospital with one of my many kidney stone attacks. Oh, that's why you look happy. You were drugged <laughs> up. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that was in 90, well, early 2000s, 20 years ago. Yeah, didn't time fly? The wow. older you get, the quicker it flies. It does. Why is that? It's crazy. Seems like just yesterday we were having my birthday party, and that was a couple months ago. It's a couple months ago. So how are you celebrating your birthday, Ryan? Yeah. Give us well behind the, I got behind t- the curtain of Ryan Clark's I got a, birthday. I got a text message a week ago from Brett on Tuesday that said, Happy birthday. Sorry I missed it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no, it was Wednesday, I and think. It was the th- it was actually I think his third annual week early birthday text because he does that every year. You confused the hell out of me with your Facebook and I'm like, so uh, Jody, my sister had said something about it was your birthday, and we should have a podcast on your birthday. She'd so come over here because obviously you're working remote. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, so it's Jody's idea. And then it just flew right past. And next thing you know, I saw something. You posted something about Golden Girls on your Facebook page. It or was something someone got me a, a gift, gift, an early birthday, an early birthday present. Well, I didn't know it was early. It's all right. And I'm like, this Ryan, is like, it was literally Ryan like just, a Wednesday of last week. And I'm like, holy shit, it blew by because my sister had told me it was on a no, Tuesday. That's fine. It had blown by the, the Tuesday. It was on Wednesday, and then you had a birthday gift post on your mm-hmm. Facebook page, and I was like. I feel like, you know, like a dog. I'm like, geez, I should no. at least tell him like his middle name. Happy birthday. And, and well, you're not here. So when you're not, it's just different not having right. you here in the office. You know, I miss things. I'm I, not intentionally, but. No, it was So fine. I was like, hey, happy birthday. Happy belated birthday, I think is what I said. Yeah, you right? did. Yeah. And, and you're then, like, my birthday's next week. Thanks. <laughs> and then, and then, then my birthday. Oh, let's do a podcast. Then. Yeah. Then my <laughs> birthday celebration was determined when Brett says, hey, perfect day for a podcast. I said, really? <laughs> and he said, do you have other plans? I'm like, well, between yeah. 8 and 4.30, I'm yours. So I know if I'm, if I'm coming for a podcast, I'm coming for a podcast. Hockey game tonight or something? I don't know what we're going to do. Dinner? I think Jerry and a couple friends are going to go to dinner. That'd dinner. be fun. Yeah. I think. Where are you going to go? I haven't been told. Yeah. Oh, well, you guys got We're going plans? to Sioux City to the Milwaukee Wiener House. <laughs> you got secret dinner plans? I don't. I have no He no has idea. no idea where we're going. I asked you this. I was in town with my daughter a couple of weekends ago, right? right? And I think I texted you, right? Asked me about hey, barbecue. Where can I go downtown? There's good food because I was staying at the the we new want barbecue, Inn. and I don't. I'm not. I didn't really want barbecue. I was with Eric Becker, remember Eric? Yeah. Yeah. Eric and Kelly Becker, their daughter Aubrey. Um, cheers on my daughter's cheer team. Obviously, they, they, they again. It's, it's so weird. Such a small world because their daughter is on my daughter's cheer team in Cedar Rapids, and and both of them that they, they both worked at IMCA or where they both work at Hawkeye Racing News. Sorry, right. that's how they met. Kelly yep. Underbaki was her original name, yep. um, and and Eric Becker. Yeah. Um, so we, I hung out with them, and Eric said, "Hey, you want to get some food?" And I'm like, "Yeah, where you want to go?" And he goes, "Let's get some bar- barbecue." And I'm like, "I don't." Downtown Des Moines, I have no idea where to eat or what to I eat. Could barbecue so. down there? We ended up downtown. at Jeth. I don't. Yeah. Not really. We went no. to Jeth. Jeth Rose is new, but I. I mean, that's. I think it was Jeth Rose, right? Yeah, that's the new yeah. one. Is that's over by Buzzard Billy's mm-hmm. or right. whatever yeah, it is, right, right yeah. by the Wells Fargo Fargo Arena. Mm-hmm. It was okay. Yeah, you know, it wasn't great food, but we it right. was we were we were all it was late. It was like eight o'clock on. Friday night, we had all be up early for cheer. So anyhow, but yeah, I texted you. Hey, where do you go? I wanted to go to Zombie Burger. That's where I wanted. Oh, oh yeah. can't go wrong there. No, I've been there once before, and I like any hamburger with an egg on it. Oh, I do too. I just love. I don't have that. Oh, Which one is that? An egg on a hamburger. I just love it. It's great. It's Which like one my is favorite that? No, um, I think that's who. I don't know which one it is. I mean, I'm a fan of the undead Elvis. That's good. That is that the peanut butter and yeah, jelly? peanut butter it's and banana. Peanut butter and banana. And have you had the walking ched before? With the macaroni and cheese bun? No. Oh. It's good, no. but it's, I've only it's, ate there once. It's a and, lot of, and I guarantee of I migrated to whatever it was that yeah, had an egg on it. That's what I ordered. That That's all I remember good. about Zombie Burger is messy. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Get a loaded shake. Get an, an adult milk. Oh, we went there with Wade. Didn't yeah, we did. Yeah, Wade, Wade and his Wade kids. Wade and the kids. Yep. So you're not going to tell us where you're going to dinner tonight. I, I don't know, and he hasn't told me. So. Ryan, if you had to pick where you were going to go to dinner tonight in Des Moines, where would you pick? I, I, you know, I really don't know. I mean, I. Come we, on. What's your we, favorite food? Actually, we People went out. want to know these kinds of we things. We went out Friday, and you wanted to do something down in East Village. And I'm like, you know, I live in East Village. I walk. Why well, just I, I just want to go. So, I wanna, I, I'm always in East Village. Let's do something else. So we went to the Chicken Coop yeah. in Irvindale, which was all right. That kind of like the Mustang Ranch? <laughs> 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 Can you mute him? Birthday. Can you can you mute him? 
I never thought of that. <laughs> but no, I, I don't. I don't really have a favorite. Someone asked me that the other day. What's your favorite restaurant? I said I really don't have one. If you, so if you had a last oh, meal, you don't. Know I don't. I really be? don't. I don't have anything that would jump out at me. Probably a tenderloin. I mean, I eat. I, tenderloin? I do. Yeah. When I go we went to the chicken coop and he had a tenderloin. When I go to a new restaurant and I don't care where I go, if they have a tenderloin on the menu, typically I'll you order that. I'll get that just to see how it compares to other places. But mm. I'm the same way. If I go somewhere for breakfast, chicken fried steak. Yeah, I'll get that too. Yeah, that's good too. Yeah, I don't have a I don't have a favorite. Nothing comes to mind. I'm pretty boring, Brett. You know yeah. this. Yeah. No, I don't think you are. You like to do lots of fun things. Yeah. I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> you used to go there too a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what are you well, I'm going to the hockey game tonight. And I'm like, Good lord, you do more shit in a week than I do in like a month. Living in Des Moines. We we went to a hockey game, me, Ryan, and Jerry. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You guys did. Like, was it after that the last podcast? No, or it was after a meeting. Oh, we had meeting days. We had meeting yeah. days. Yeah. Jim's like, Staff meeting. The hockey game. I had to uh, sneak Jim in. Get him a ticket. Snuck him in the back door. I paid for my Dang. ticket. I think I've been to one hockey <laughs> game with Jim. One. That didn't turn out real well. It didn't. I drove all the way to Des Moines to see Jim's son at the time play. JJ was playing hockey, so I drove all the way to Des Moines to watch JJ play hockey. Virginia and I did, and we went to the game, and JJ got in a fight in the fight the first 10 seconds of the – Kicked uh, out. And got kicked out. Oh, so was, was it high school hockey? It was yeah. – Yeah. Yeah, it was you, literally can't, yeah the, you can't fight in high school It hockey. was literally – I'm not joking. It couldn't have been 30 seconds much into the game. It, it was like – Jim's like, well, that was fast. I'm like <laughs> – I drove all the way over here. I'm like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do I'm, now? <laughs> I've driven further. <laughs> this yeah. didn't get kicked out quicker. But. Oh, well. Happy so you're not going to share anything, Ryan. What do you want to know? I don't know what you want to know. I don't have a favorite I mean, restaurant. It's not just me. It's 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 the, like the candy, millions right? watching. They, the they want a glimpse inside the life of Ryan Clark. He won't tell us what his what his favorite meal is. So I don't what's your favorite candy? Ha- no. I don't have a favorite you have meal. To have a fa- um, favorite candy. Don't favorite you? candy. Again, that depends on my mood. I, I like chocolate. No, chocolate you, and peanut if, butter if is you, good. If you had one candy bar that your candy that you could eat for the rest of your life, that's the only one you could eat. What would it be? Probably Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cup. Maybe Jerry. What about you? <laughs> I've never given it any thought. <laughs> I like M and M's on the road though. On the go, Ooh, they're, easy. they're easy to peanut eat. Peanut M and M's are it. my favorite. Peanut butter. M&Ms. Jim, you're not a candy person, much are you? He's not very sweet. So nah. Maybe. nah, Mike I and like, Ike's I'd maybe. Like licorice though too. I could do I'd Mike and Ike's. Licorice. Mine would be a Carmelo. Mike and Ike's. A oh, Carmelo's good. Ooh, those are good. Those make or a score. Do you like scores? Oh yeah. Ooh, it's been a long time since those are good. Well, how about they're, Clark? Yeah, because bars. those are like off the path kind of stuff. People eat a lot of Snickers and peanut M and M's and Milky Ways and the stuff that you see commercials for, but. I like Carmelo's and Score. I like Zero Bars, too. I've never had one. Remember the Torbalones that used to oh, sell for, good. like, the Toblerone? you, the, the Toblerones, a little triangle Balone. candy bar? Those were good. Those oh. were good. They used to... Chico Sticks? Chico's. Cowtails? What know, about Mallow is. Cups? Mm. Mallow mm. Cups. See, yeah, I'm not a Mallow Cup guy. What is guy. the... Uh, it's like a marshmallow a... chocolate. I mean, yeah. it's... Oh. I'm not a big marshmallow guy. Yeah. Do you eat the little little eggs for Easter? The little like peeps. Oh, oh you dang can't. right, peeps I are the best. I don't like peeps. <laughs> peeps, Cadbury's. I don't. Oh, Cadbury, oh, Cadbury, Cadbury eggs. eggs. Oh, yeah. The, the Easter, the good. little the little Cadbury mini eggs for yeah. Easter. That's that could very well hands down be the best ever. <laughs> so, so Ryan, Ryan if eat... you could pick one restaurant, one food <laughs> what to, to celebrate your birthday at, what's it going to be? I, I I don't know. I really don't know. We'll tell you next podcast. I, yeah, we, no. no, I mean, I, you know, like I said to, to Jerry the other day, we went out Friday night. I said, I don't care where we go. Just give, I, I want to try different places. I want to pl- try some place that I may not know of or haven't been to before. So, so we did that. And maybe that's what I'd like for my birthday to go somewhere I've never been. I have no clue. Sure. You're not going to fail no matter what you pick, Jerry. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Although we have spent a lot of time together lately, and that's kind of concerning to me. <laughs> <laughs> it wow. is, too. I, I, I mean, was beginning to feel, if you wonder if you were okay. Yeah, so man, don't we like we, we hung out, what, Friday night? Last then, year during Super Nationals, we had the Ryan and Jerry breaking up story. Yeah. So we're not yeah. seeing any signs of that right now is what you guys are saying? Everything's good? No, we're having a good, we're couple, we're having a good couple hours. Better than ever. Better than ever. Yes. Reunited, yeah. and it feels so good. <laughs> Little peaches and herb or whatever. 
Ah, uh, we're more like a kuna matata. <laughs> we, we sang that on the way yes, over here did. today. Oh, kuna God. Matata. I don't we're going to have they... to put a camera in their car. And <laughs> I don't know why that even came up. <laughs> who, who drove? A dash came. Jerry did. I did. I'd take the dogs. To, I had to take the other three. He told me he was going to pick me up. I wouldn't have to drive on my birthday. I'm like, all right. I'd take the other three hounds to get their hairs cut. <laughs> He's was, not ready for a hair's cut. Quite a morning. Oh, God. He's chilling. My dog would never lie like that. He slept you know. all over. <laughs> oh. Let's talk about racing. Yeah. Ooh, well, yeah, because we haven't got to do much around here lately. No, no it's anyway. It's raining. Tornado Central. Yeah. What, 80 some? 85 or something like that? Yeah, the news. We can, you know, total across the United States. There was eight, there was nine just in Iowa alone. Yeah, it was in, it was Friday afternoon. I don't know. I was. I can't remember what I was doing Friday afternoon, but my wife texted me a screenshot of a tornado in China, China Springs, Texas, which is just north of Waco. She goes, this is in China Springs right now. I'm like, I didn't even know the weather was that severe down there, but yeah, like Waco got, I think, rained out. or did I don't think so. I think Waco yeah. got rained out. I think uh, KSP, Abilene. KSP got rained out. Texas. Abilene. A lot of the Texas tracks, I think. I think John and Nick even got rained out. Saw yes. some bad. I think it was pretty widespread, north to south, and everything up here pretty much got wiped out. I think you canceled early. Oh, yeah. You, you knew what it was going to do. I mean, yeah. the weather was. I think I was on the phone to Ryan when I was driving through a tornado. Yeah, you were. You were in. <laughs> Because <laughs> you just talked to your daughter, and <laughs> but you made it to a race, though. Yeah, right? you, were, you were like in yeah. any, you were in anywhere in Nebraska and Kansas where there should have been multiple tornadoes. You went over to Hutch, didn't you? Yeah, went to Hutch. It was a great, great night. I mean, what do they call that know, place that, now? The Salt Salt City. Salt City Race. Yep. Salt City Race. I'll, I'll tell you that whole backstory on that track. I mean, is it, incredible. You know, we went to a meeting. You know, I went down there, and Phil and his whole team was down there. And uh, that, that place was going to be destroyed. I, you know, I'll tell you what, we got to that meeting, and it, it really was about a 99% tra- chance that that track would survive the meeting. And then the, the, the first few people got up during the public comments, and that 99% chance went to about 99.9% chance that track was going to get demolished. And uh, Phil got up there, and... Uh, he had a proposal, very professional, laid out a proposal, and uh, somehow he pulled it out of his ass and saved the track. And they opened up Friday night with about, I think they said there was over 2,500 people in the grandstand, good feel of cars, good racing. And uh, it's it's a little bit of, you know, we hear so many of the negative tracks closing down, tracks going away. Well, this was one that actually got saved. Thanks to the hard work of you know Phil and his his team Nick and Kyler and uh, Mike Van Genneren was there doing track prep. I mean they just they put on a very very good show. It was great to see the fans were into it. I mean you know I, I haven't seen a track where the fans were into it as as much as that in a long time. When's so, the last time they raced there? They they, they normally were racing there once a year. Once yeah, a year. if you if you could call it that, a fair race or whatever it was. But yeah, it was yeah. always uh, Hutch Nationals or whatever. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but you know that that that's an event that used to have some status, but unfortunately over the years has kind of circled the drain. But uh, you know, Phil once again, it, it was a good show. He had tons of media coverage. You know, all the local media, TV, print was there, and. Uh, I think that the town really got behind it, and uh, it, it, like I said, it was real, real neat to see something like that. It, well, they call it Salt City. I think it's a good question, Nate, because uh, Hutchinson, Kansas, is like the epicenter of like the road salt that we use up here in the Midwest. Really, that's where it's mined. I think yeah, there's a lot of Salt City references, not just yeah. the racetrack, but yeah. in the general area. Yeah, I never because it that. is. Yeah, that's why it's got the salt. That's why they called it Salt City. Never knew that. You know, that was a fair, that was a state fair. I mean, it's a state fairgrounds facility. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 um, it was under the same scrutiny that the, uh, the Iowa state fair track was, it was okay. It's doesn't get used all the time. We can turn this into a concert venue or we can better our grandstands. And that's what they were looking at. And, and you know, but the thing about it, they had no plan. They were just yeah. going to tear it down with no plan in place to replace anything there. You know, they weren't going to make it an amphitheater or anything like that. They were just going to get rid of it. Yeah, I met Phil, I don't know, a couple of years ago, a few years back. 
uh, Mel Hamilton. They're, they're also, is it Hoosier Great Plains? Is that? Yeah, yeah, yep. Is, yeah, so you've got Nick, right, at Hoosier Great Plains? Am I getting the names right? Yep, Nick. That's why I originally had met Mel, um, and I, I don't know, I think it was a PRI maybe, or maybe at, at Reno, one of the promoter workshops, some someplace where the, the, the Hoosier team was all assembled. Um, and then, yeah, it just, it, it doesn't surprise me that Mel was able to do what he did, uh, or oh, Phil, Phil was able to do, he, do what he did because he, he, he's a, he's a very good salesman. He's a very good salesman. I stopped at the dealership one time. I drive to, it's in Wichita. <laughs> Left with a truck. It's in Wichita. Yes. Yeah. So the, yeah, small story. I was driving down to Texas with my wife and, and stopped just to say hi, because I'd never been there before to Mel Hambleton. Um, and, and Phil was there. And so I just, I was like, Hey, are you at the dealership? And he's like, yeah. And so I just stopped in and said hi. And yeah, I ended up with a truck and a van out of that deal. I think <laughs> I'm how, how did that whole story go? Which one? When you stopped in there. <laughs> I don't, one time I st- I've stopped a couple of times. One time I did buy a truck and, and a van on the same day. And, and then another time I stopped, and I don't know, he was busy, so I, I, I told the lady at the front desk I was somebody else, and he came out. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I said I was. <clears throat> it was kind of funny. I thought it was entertaining. I thought so. It was entertaining. But Phil's a good guy. He, he really is, and they do a lot for IMCA racing, and the fact that Hutch is running IMCA sanctioned races, it, you know, obviously it, and, you know, it, it, with, Jake, with Phil's eff- effort is is very much appreciated. And a pretty good, you know, te- pretty good turnout of cars. Yeah, Phil's son Jake. I mean, he was, was what a state champion last year, Ryan. And, yeah, I think he was a yeah, state couple track champions. Yep, yeah. came up super nationals. And, yep. So he's won his fair share of races over the years. That's for sure. Yeah, they're passionate about racing. Phil is passionate about racing, and it shows. I mean, obviously, they support they support uh, the, the 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 efforts at 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 Salt City, and then they've done some other things too for IMCA. You know, all, all the tracks, all the IMCA tracks. You know, he's he has a big presence at Salina, uh, Hayes, uh, Dodge City. They actually and, came up to the office one day too. Yeah, they flew up and and visited us at the office. Uh, Phil and Nick did. It was very nice of them. I don't know if we sat yeah. in this room or where we sat. I think it was a conference room. But we're just talking racing. And, you know, once again, Kyler Fetters, who runs Dodge City, was there, you know, doing the race directing and and all that. You know, that, that track's one of those, like I said, the old half-mile fairgrounds where they pit outside and then you got to bring cars in across the track for the heat races because you really can't pit anybody in the infield, I think. You know, there's no fences, no walls, anything in the infield. So it, it creates some challenges, and Kyler did a great job orchestrating that that whole deal, and the show went off smooth, and we got out of there at a you know decent hour. And uh, once again, they did not give one reason for any of the twenty five hundred plus in the stands not to come back. We should have Phil on the podcast. He does his own podcast too. Yeah, right? oh yeah, they've got the <clears throat> dealership. It's like the yeah, front strap, or, I watched it a handful. Of different yep, times. I have too. I've watched a couple of them. But you know, they have an open house at the dealership. They do a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. He really, he's really got a lot of good ideas. To be quite honest, so it's good to see him have success. Racing needs it. We, we, racing needs the positive stories like that out there. They do yeah, exist. And, and I think once again, Phil's taken a little bit of the the advertising and um, that they used in in the in the dealership car dealership world and incorporating in that into the the racetrack there and. Once again, you know, sometimes we're all guilty in this industry of recycling the same old bad ideas where Phil's bringing some new ideas as to how they're promoting that track and the social media aspect that they're using. And once again, obviously, it worked. Speaking of other openers, we've had some we've had some other tracks uh, when the weather permits open. We had Beaver Dam opened up, didn't they? Yep, Wisconsin. they opened up last yep. Tuesday, finally got one in. Wilmot, uh, Wisconsin, a new, new to IMC this year, is going to open up uh, Saturday coming up, which would be, what, May 4th? Yep. Ooh, I, I believe, yeah. May the 4th be with you. And then, you know, once again, you know, you talk of Wisconsin, I mean, the, the numbers that 141 
has been getting, you know, for their weekly show. Well, they have 187 Shano. Saturday night, I think, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, between yeah, Shano and 141, I mean, there was almost 300 cars within an hour and a half of each other. Correct. It's crazy how the that, numbers up there. That Green Bay, Wisconsin area has got to be one of the strongest racing areas in the United States. Yeah, absolutely. If you look at the, yeah. the the volume of tracks that they have, and there's been some shifting, like every area, there's been shifting with with nights that they're racing and racetracks that have closed and racetracks that have reopened, and there's been movement in that area. But man, I'm telling you. There's, there is such a concentration of cars around that Green Bay area. It, it, it's been one of the, the most, uh, one of the best areas for IMCA racing across the United States for as long as I've been here. You know, and and they're good weekly to, racers up there. They, they support, you know, whether it be Shano, uh, it just you know, seems to be consistently 141, good. Yeah. Racers. Out of gamey and yeah. they support Crazy. weekly racing up there. And, uh, it's, it, it's it's fun to go up there. I was up there for 141's opening night, and uh, you know, you talk about a track that's got amenities and and, and, and everything going for it, and you know, obviously the right tie checks and and Toby started it, and now uh, CZ's carrying on with it and and improving on the the facilities up there. Once again, it's great to see tracks that are putting back into the facility and and not just take take take. So, yeah, you've got you've got what went on it obviously at at, at one forty one, and then you've got the Shano. Um, you know, I, I I it's interesting to me because I I'm I get a lot of Facebook requests and I don't I don't approve a lot of them because I just at times I don't know who people are and I don't know why they're asking to be my friend because it's you know just random people. But then I'll be like, oh, I recognize that name or I recognize that person, and so I it pops up in my news feed. Some of the people that are my friends, the people that are winning races and where they're winning them at. And so, you know, as times I try to, sometimes I'll just randomly, if I, it pops up my feed, I just put congratulations on them. I wish I could go on t- and tell everybody every week, congratulations or a uh, good job or awesome win. Or, you know, there's so many racers across the United States that we deal with here that it's hard for us to keep track of them all. Um, but you know, that, that, that there's there's just a lot of there's a lot of things starting to go on too not just in that green bay area but other areas bill and i were talking earlier about um 100 feature wins 100 career feature wins we've got a lot of guys that are getting real close we've got like 10 guys this month alone that are either going to have the potential to getting to 100 to 200 or i think even 300 career wins in imca racing so it's it's uh it's going to be a busy month. May is usually one of our busier months because everybody starts to get racing. Everybody's to, it's usually when everybody is open by May or the end of May. So it's going to be a really super busy month, and it's 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 good to see that uh, that the tracks that are opening, like like uh, Salt City, are ha- having success. It's good to see this the success that you know the Beaver Dam story to me is really interesting with switching nights and the things that. They they ran non sanctioned for many years without us and then and then they switched the sanction last year, switched nights last they year. They have a great Tuesday night program. And have yeah. a really, really good Tuesday night program that, that um IMCA racers are taking advantage of, obviously. Uh, but then you got Wilmot who hasn't been sanctioned f- um for almost years. Two, de- two decades probably. It's been about twenty years. I think the late nineteen ninety nine, nineteen ninety eight is the last year that they I think they were sanctioned. So you got it up. It's been a while. You know, to see Wilmot come back and then to see just, you know, especially in Wisconsin, especially that that pocket of the United States, the Shano um, car counts, the 141 car counts, um, the names we see that, that we're familiar with, and then the names you see winning that you're not necessarily familiar with. Um, well, we got Darlington, too, don't I mean, yeah. in southern Wisconsin, you know, right, yep. In the, yep, right over the right border. Right over the border from Dubuque, you've got uh, Darlington. That, right, they race Friday nights. So, I mean, yep. Wisconsin. And, the, you know, the, the, what's crazy is for years everybody knew, you know, Wisconsin. I mean, they had as many dirt tracks as they did asphalt right. race tracks. I mean, you know, you look at, like, Dick Trickle and some of those guys that came out of the asphalt racing up there that was huge. And it's still – Still pretty big up there, but the dirt has kind of foreshadowed the asphalt that kind of took over. Um, 
from years ago. Well, Eagle River, Eagle River is another one, Jim, that we yeah, had an yeah. issue. Adding stock yep. cars. Eagle River has yeah. two tracks. Really? Like Boone. Boone has two tracks, yeah. too. No, see, they have the, uh, the World Championship Derby track. Oh. For the snowmobile that they do there. And then they have the uh, stock car track. Are they called Eagle River 1 and Eagle River 2? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they call. Yeah, it is a World Championship Derby complex. Then it's Maybe we can build one of them in Boone now that we got an extra track. <laughs> Ooh, could we? We could, yeah. we could have snowmobile races. We added stock cars at Eagle River. Yep. Not derby cars. Right? They don't have derby cars. They have derby as a snowmobile race. Oh! Ice, the ice oval. So it's, so it's, oh, so it's. Yeah, no, it's a half, uh, it's a half, up, half I mile ice oval. When you say It'll derby, cool. or it is quarter. Come, I it was when you say derby, I think I think demo derby. Demo. Nope. That's what I think too. That's what I. Think. You know, it'd be cool if you're gonna ice oval and like make the track blue or something like that. Paint it. That would be some cutting edge shit that I guarantee would catch on. Be pretty awesome. A lot of them actually do dye it because of the like, snow, like water, so you can you so can you see can it? see it. See yeah. It. Makes sense. It's like they do. Uh, there's one up in Minnesota or something. Up along the Canadian border, it's one that's been going for like 50, 60 years, and they die. They'll they'll put dye in it so you can see where the corners and stuff are, because all the snow dust it gets like crazy. I, I just have no desire to freeze when I'm watching racing. You don't have to. They've got big sweets. There's snow involved. You're gonna freeze. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, or you can watch st- or most of it's all streamed on Speed there Sport you TV. Go. I think I've watched some snow cross stuff before. I don't think I've watched much oval track. Snow derby, they call it. I went Ice to a, oval. I went to a two-man cruiser you know, deal up at, in West Union like 25 years ago, and the flag man was standing in like a <laughs> wrapped flag stand. There, it was. <laughs> they had to plow snow off the race straight. It was not a fun experience. Well, I remember they used to do that 141. They had the first race of the year, January 1st. They always had, yeah. a, they had yeah. a front-wheel drive enduro. Well, they had a ice oval race at Marshalltown one time, didn't they? Yeah, it was like a couple weekends ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that went at Boone too. Yeah, cool. and I'm not, I'm not talking because of the track conditions. I'm talking mm-hmm. because of the weather. The weather. Yeah, it was yeah. chilly. I, I when we were at Boone for the Frostbuster, I right? stayed home. It was it involved cold. I, I'll be there. Yeah, I'm home cold. watching. It's cold. It was cold. I went to Boone and and Bob Ross. You know, it mentioned for, for a couple of years they tarp off, they had tarped off the grandstands at Boone Speedway during for the Frostbuster. <laughs> put put heaters on. Yes, they put. Oh, yeah, they put tarps yeah, they around the entire grandstand. Tarp the bottom, and they put those turbo heaters. And underneath. then he put turbo heaters underneath it to try to so it would heat the seats or heat the people sitting in the seats. And I was like, "Did it work?" And he goes, "Yeah, it worked." He said, "But they went through an incredibly large amount of LP." <laughs> <laughs> There's some crazy amount of, of, of fuel that they went through trying to do that. So they quit doing it. It's too much work. Anyway, you know, back we, to Wisconsin. We had his sport compacts at 141, too. I don't know if, yep. I, if we talked about that before. So we've got Wilmot adding mods. Just mods at Wilmot? Just mods. Mods at Wilmot. We had stock cars at Eagle River. We've added compacts at 141. At, at 141. So there's just this, I mean, we're pretty seeing that pretty consistently across the board with, with IMCA. It's just the... the the continual adding of divisions, um, especially at facilities that are already doing business with us. And I think a lot of that comes from Ryan Clark going up to the Luxembourg trade show. And that, that really helps us gain some traction up in that area. You're so full of shit. Shouldn't you be back in the lunch line, <laughs> lunch lady with your hairnet on? Yes, I did. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's. Oh, is that what we're having for your birthday lunch? Is Sloppy know. Joe's? I don't know. Jim's going to come over and cook the Sloppy Joe's. <laughs> you like them sloppy? Adam Sandler. God dang it. What a comedian. You're just not as funny as he is. Nope. I mean, or you is we are just that not funny. <laughs> we're just not funny. That too. What else we got going on this weekend? There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm just looking at Facebook now. Like, like this weekend, Independence, two thousand to win modified, it's thousand to win stock cars, thousand to win Monday. Sport that's yeah, Monday, yeah, isn't it? Monday. That's that's Monday. Monday. That's Monday. The, Monday. It's the Monday program. And then in Spencer's on Tuesday and Wednesday. Is that right? Yep. Did they Spencer's Tuesday, Wednesday? That's a busy week. Last that night week. got there's last a crap load of racing. So they... There's a lot of racing. Yeah, going next on. week you can go Independence. Two nights at two nights at Spencer. Go to Park Monday. Jefferson Thursday. Yep. I think we still got a week or so before uh, 
before Algon opens up. I think they open up the second week in May, I believe. You got Brit opening up next Friday. Yep. The Darren Toot era yep. kicks in at Brit. And they had a practice the other night, I think. Yeah. Saturday yeah, night. They got, yeah, we got rained out at Boone. They had a practice yeah. at Saturday. Yeah, Algon opens up May 9th. Yeah. Week from this Thursday. Yep. Then you got, you know, Nodax going to try to get their race in up there in Mandan. and Or Minot, Minot's going to open up. Then you got Dakota Speedway in Mandan. They've been washed out the last two Fridays. They're going to give it a go. So. Shit's rolling, that's for sure. Lots of stuff going on. Tis the season. Besides tornadoes. And Ryan's birthday. And Brian and Ryan's birthday. Yeah, that one tornado that was over by Omaha, over by you, Jim. You I don't think you were home that night. I think you were at That was the night Salt, he was in Salt. Salt you were in, you're in Hutch yeah. that night. That pictures I saw that tornado, it was huge. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was monster. Like I said, I I was driving down the highway talking to Ryan and then, you know, my phone started you know, it, it got pitch black, I couldn't see anything and it was pouring and probably a little bit of hail mixed in there. And then my phone started, you know, those weird weather alert beeps, and I wasn't even, I didn't know what, you know, what was going on, and got off the phone and called my daughter, who was at school in Lincoln, and said, you know, just make sure, you know, be careful. She goes, oh, yeah, there's a tornado on the ground in Seward. She goes, where are you at? I'm in Seward. <laughs> you said, you said. I think I might have just driven through that. That's what that was. Yeah, that's what that <laughs> that's was. What that... It's a damn tornado. <laughs> that was that one that went through that go. That, that was uh, windy. <laughs> it made the national news and all over the social media. Those two, uh, that train engineer and conductor, they got stuck in the locomotive oh. over in that one by Omaha, and they rode that thing out, and that video was crazy. But then it went. Uh, yeah, there's a north, bunch, of bunch of damage. And, you know, just missed, you know, the city of Harlem, but went north of there and got uh, some property and damage there. Minden, but, Iowa. Minden. Wow. Minden is no Minden. more for the most part, I think. Yeah. Crazy. I think there's about three houses that yeah. damage, they said. Yep. Well, what else? I think there's, what is there? Looking at the schedule, I think from tonight, Tuesday night through next Tuesday, there's roughly 90 sanctioned events. So we're getting geared up and things are starting to happen for sure. I'm sure with all the rainouts around the country, people have been taking advantage of the IMCA TV replay right. package. Where well, when, and, when we have races on there. Yeah. what 141. You bet. You can go back and watch the first, uh, second, third weeks of 141 on there. Frostbusters, the Boone series. Look at Brad. He's in deep thought. He is in there. deep What's he doing? <laughs> I'm rolling. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at like, looking I'm just looking something. at like the, the kid who won mm-hmm. at 141. Oh, the Apple kid? Yeah. yeah. He's never won a race before? Apple no. Bet. How many mods are at 141 last week? That, was that sport mods or mods? It's, it's, it's a mod. Yeah, he was a sport mod. He moved up. Okay. Well, I mean, you, you look at the quality of mods that are at I mean, 141. Yeah. Every week, you know, you got Big Money Benji. You got, uh, you know, Brian Mullins. You, you just got so many guys that can win anywhere in the country. Yep. Racing weekly up there. Yeah. That's uh that's quite an accomplishment to have that be your first feature win. And I see where Ronnie Chode, our defending Super Nationals mod light champion, champion, won the Tennessee mod light racing event over the weekend at Camden, Tennessee. I still have his track mat, as a matter of fact. Speaking of Chote. You still have it? Am I saying his name right? Yeah. I think mm-hmm. I am. He's a nice guy. He's got a different color car. When he came to Super Nationals, he had like crayon on the side. Right. Of his car it was, for yeah. A yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, it wasn't the, uh, it, it did it not was, the best was, appearing mod light. It was all black. I think it was all black and it had just the number on it. That's all it had. Duct tape or mm-hmm. whatever it was. Yeah. Won the biggest mod light race of the year. Hey, I have his track mat for the Super Nationals. If he comes back this year, I'll give it to him. If he doesn't? Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I'll race a mod light. My ale is. I thought you going to race a stock car. <laughs> I'm going to race that too, and a, and a race saver. <laughs> Someday. Yeah, be be careful of that we've got some uh, video footage of race saver workies trying to race a race saver. Oh yeah, yeah. We didn't want to show that. We don't want to embarrass anybody on our podcast. 
I'm just saying if there's a, and I, I won't mention any names, but let's say there's a promoter out there who happens to own Race Saver, jumped in a car and tried to hot lap it for the hell of it. Didn't go well. Well, it went well to hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got well, lots we of lots of race saver results on our on our Facebook page. A lot of race saver races going on over the all over the place. I don't I don't know if I would consider what Roger did actually racing. We're not mentioning any names. Oh, did I say Roger? Yeah, Roger, I, Roger. I didn't mean Roger Hayden. I meant <laughs> no, no. Oh. That that would be rude of us to uh, mention. Uh, throw Roger Hayden under a bus like that. So we'll just edit his name out. I mean, he does have bus races. So he's, I mean, he already has the bus. He needs to stick to racing buses. Yeah. <laughs> no, because I've been on a bus at a haunted house that he was driving that crashed also. So he has the I same was... racing talent that Brett did? Hey, I... Brett reckon stuff? Yeah, kind of. You know, Roger has a, a great story, and I, and I can remember hearing about this crash at you know, when Roger was racing late models at Sunset, and, uh, you know, you'd go off the back of the old Sunset Speedway, you're in, in a bunch of trees, and he went off and basically ripped the, the front end of his late model off, and he's just kind of laying there on the ground a little bit. And, and I think Roger tells a story where the safety crew guy was running up and, you know, you okay, you okay, you okay, and Roger kept going, my legs, my legs. Well, the safety crew guy was standing on Roger's legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that was a drop off back there on, on the back stretch yeah. of Sunset. Because, I mean, the trees, if you got in the trees, you were in the trees because they grew up over. I mean, they were like the wall was here yeah. and the ground was no wall. Here. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, you hear stories like that. And, you know, one of the the things, you know, I got the the pleasure of working at Speedway Motors with, with Speedy Bill was there and you would hear stories like that. And, you know, he'd always tell the the one with Lloyd Beckman and Lloyd Beckman, you know, used to win everything in a sprint car back in the day. Yeah. I mean, he, he was incredible, but Bill says they went over to Knoxville and Lloyd was racing and the car in front of him got sideways and Lloyd ran up over the, the hood of the car and, just kept going up and up and up. And Bill says, I'm sitting there in the pits. And uh, Bill goes, I sit down on, on the, on the trailer. And he goes, he goes, I got two things in my, two things in my mind is he goes, I picked the wrong time to use exhaust tubing for a roll cage. And how do you get a dead guy back to Lincoln? <laughs> back in the day. Crazy. Okay. And sometimes guys end up in trees, like you said, like at Southern Raceway on a practice night. Parked I think Tom one. Herbert ended up in a tree one time, didn't he? Our old uh, yeah. tech inspector, Tom yeah. Herbert, ended up in a tree down in Lake City or someplace like that. I've yep. seen a late model in a tree in Cresco before. I've seen a, hmm. I've seen a mod yeah, in the yeah, modified one. Well, I went through a fence that was in G a tent. That was Jamie yeah. Johnson from Waterloo. And yeah. I think he got a license this year. I think he's really? been, he might be yeah, racing that. Yeah, he'd raced that since that yeah, incident I, where I, the throttle I stuck. I think anyway. he's licensed. Again. He's back. Glad he didn't. Well, that was a wild ride. That was, that was yeah. scary. It was very ride. scary. You can find that on the internet, I think. It's posted somewhere. YouTube, all that stuff. You guys hunt mushrooms? I don't. You guys do no, that? I will. If anybody hunts them that doesn't want to eat them, I will I will take them because they, oh, Anything's good. When it's, anything is good when it's oh, soaked in butter. God, soaked in butter, a little flour. Not Everything. a mushroom fan, Jim. No, not a mushroom fan. Well, there was this saw, time. It's, in the it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I see people all the time posting pictures. I'm like, there was there was a take group. There was, I saw on that. Facebook. There was a group of six guys in Southeast Iowa that brought back like 320 pounds yes. one day. Selling them for forty five dollars a pound. Oh, I know. You go to the farmers oh markets or whatever, and I mean, it's. I remember somebody go, "Oh yeah, give me about, give me five bucks for a bag." Now it's like, I mean, it's uh, forty five dollars for a pound of mushrooms. Yeah, that's what I saw. Good lord. What else, guys? Jerry, anything coming up? Obviously, we. You know, we, we, we talked about this in other podcasts about the 
tough decision tracks are forced to make when it comes to weather. And oh, don't get him! Don't get him pissed! <laughs> don't get him! <laughs> oh boy, here we go! <laughs> oh, no. Well, Boone's a good example. Yeah, Boone, Boone faced it last week. Yeah, we'll face it again this week. You know, yeah. it's forecasted to rain, and everybody can see it coming. It's forecasted to rain. Would do you cancel or not? You know, sometimes, does it miss or not? Sometimes the front breaks down. You know, it's got to yeah, stop. Sometimes, you know? it, sometimes it That's what I mean. Apart. Does it miss yeah. or not? You know, it's a tough decision mm-hmm. for a promoter. Yeah. And you're, you're half you're, you're half the people are going to bitch at you for racing, and the other half are going to bitch at you for canceling. You're, you're truly in a no-win situation. Yeah. I can't believe they even tried. Well, at least they tried. You know, the same people yeah. can't believe a track would cancel two days before. You know, it's... Yeah, like... Yeah. Corey in town here canceled yeah. Saturday morning right. for Sunday's races. Well, was, I mean, you know, sometimes, I mean, you know. But he was right. It rained yeah. all day on Sunday. Yeah. You have to be Mr. But if it didn't, if then it didn't. they could be racing. I drove by the racetrack, and it's dry out there. You hear that a lot, too. Yeah, but. Yeah, you're never going to make the right decision to no. some people. Correct. Years ago, you just done it. I remember yeah. a kid, you know. You'd blow, you know, the radio station, hey, they're looking for four-wheel drive trucks to come help pack I'll in the pack racetrack. The track, if yeah. you're available, drive out to the Speedway right now. They'll get you get you a pit pass or whatever. And, man, every everybody would run out there with their four-wheel drive pickups, and they'd roll it in. And now it's, you know, now it's uh, – those days are gone. Yeah. To where uh, people just watch it, the radar, and they're like, well, you know, it's, it's going to rain. And they're upset. Yeah, sure. Oh, I knew I should have went. If you get to sure, we've something. all had this happen, especially in the old days where you would uh, you would call the track and you could hear the you could hear it raining on the other end of the phone. Sunny in seventy five. Yeah. Come on out, Sunny. No, no rain here. Yeah, is it raining there? Nope. Well, the, the, my best is, hey, are you guys racing tonight? Yep, we're on. Well, I'm over here in Waterloo and it's raining. Well, thank goodness yeah. we're not racing in Waterloo <laughs> yep. tonight. My brother used to say that. Good thing the track isn't in Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Thank goodness we're racing on Friday. <laughs> oh, so Jerry, are you racing Friday? As of right now, we are. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna do what we can. Oh, look at that picture, that, 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 that picture of Ryan. Hey, can you get that? What are you looking up? I don't know. It's on Facebook. That's when the is water. That, that was the water balloon fight when you got a, at at uh, Vinton. I got fight. smacked so in the you nuts. That, you ever play that? Uh, that game, Dig Dug. Dig Dug. Someone oh, just yeah. post that, or where did you find it? It looked like Dig Dug in that little gun, and you pulled the thing. <laughs> where did you find that? Yeah, Justin Stander posted it six okay. minutes ago. He was standing next Happy to me 50th. That, that night. We both got pelted with. Water oh, is that where I bought like? Did, didn't I buy like a hundred dollars worth of water? Yeah, and you weren't. <laughs> yeah, and you told him. They told the. Yeah, whoever could throw them at me. That well, was the else? problem. And I wasn't even there, but I gave somebody the 100 bucks the, the week before and said, here, buy $100 worth of balloons. And the kids that were throwing those, they didn't have any barricades up. They just kept creeping closer and closer <laughs> to the point where you were getting hit in the groin at point-blank range. Well, that sounds like a good Sunday night. What else, guys? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not even going to go anywhere near uh, that remark. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Uh, that's the best. Jeez, how, you don't touch how, that one. Mark how, that down in history the first time Ryan bitched about getting hit in the groin. <laughs> <laughs> and you no, wonder, well, and you wonder why I didn't want to oh, do a gosh. podcast today, bro. Is it, is it still proper to give him like 50 spankings and an inch and a pinch to grow on? Or? I, when does the stripper come in? I thought we had a stripper ordered for today. He wasn't available. I, try, I, I called. I'm going to jump out of a cake. Yeah. I found a little guy who was going to jump out of a cupcake room and put him up on. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! God. Crazy Martin was coming. Oh, boy. Crazy Hello. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said, happy birthday, Ryan. Congratulations uh, on being 50. Good times. Oh. <laughs> Hello. What? Well, well, I think this this podcast is officially derailed. It's been derailed for a while. It, it, well, I mean, at the beginning, I mean, at the beginning, it kind of. Went I think for it. about fifty two episodes, it's been we derailed. Need some, we need some race results, and we need some guests. We need to get some racers back. Ooh, on. yeah. So if you're what watching this, because Nate or Nate will post it just in the bot in the comments. Yeah, who text you like who you'd like to see yeah. as a guest? Text who you would like to see. Yeah, and we'll call them and see if they. We'll wanna, call them and see. Would you like to be, be a guest? Show. You've been requested. 
And make sure and tag our, them, you know, tag them in the, in the post. We can get one of our career feature win guys on here or something like that, too. And I think we're, we're due for another live podcast. Ooh, like Facebook. Only done once. Take questions. You want to take questions? Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Let's yeah. do that. Oh, that'll be fun. We did it once. Yeah, it, I think it was, it was all, I think most of the questions were tech related then. Yeah. I think we need to. Yeah. But I think when we do it. So we're going to have to have we Dave need to, on. We need to advertise it that we're going to do it so people are ready. That's right. Yeah, but when you do it, though, you can't do it 10 in the morning. Most people work. Well, we could, we could maybe evening. do like a Monday. IMCA after seven. dark. Ooh. After dark. Yeah. Uncensored. <gasps> we could probably even say the F word. No, because it'd be on Facebook Live. You can't say the F word on there. I mean, you can. But you wouldn't be on Facebook Live very long. No. Is that what you're saying? Do they knock you off for doing that? I don't know. Do they, Nate? I don't know how they would. If they're paying attention enough and you say the fudge. Oh, that's right, you Nate. Get, you went you to you Facebook jail. Have you what figured you, it out? What did you, what did you, you do? Have you figured out then? why? Oh, so you got reported for share hijacking videos? Oh. 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 No, no we'll, we'll repeat. <laughs> so what you're saying is when, oh. when Facebook went AI, it really screwed shit up? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? AI. AI is scary. Al. 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 Facebook Al. Uh, <laughs> That's what I call it. <laughs> it's Facebook Al. Hey, it was Grant Osvig's birthday yesterday. It was. Yeah. yeah. It was Grant. I think he's 46. I think so. Yeah, He'd be good we could have Grant, Grant as a guest. He'd be good. He could tell some stories. Yeah, there we go. We got some stories about he could Jerry tell some, yeah, He could probably tell some stories no, there's about a lot you. Of story. there's, way, there's a lot of stories way before then. Uh-huh. All right. So what else? I think that's going to be it. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's kind Let of... Check my notes. That's really about, about everything. I... so long. It's exactly. pretty boring. Pretty basic. There's <laughs> yeah. not a whole lot to talk about. I'm wondering yeah, if they're boy. serving cake and we are. We got cake. We got cake. cake. Wait, I think cake. I ruined the surprise. <laughs> okay. Oops. Thanks, Jerry. Sure. Yeah, well, we I got, didn't know we there was some a, little I'm... some little guy is gonna jump out of a cake. <laughs> some, little some little guy. Ow. Whatever you do, just don't talk about the presents. <laughs> oh, I didn't oh, we were supposed to bring presents. Presents. But my presence was present enough for you. Your presence is just fine, Jerry. Okay. Whew. The gift that keeps on giving. Well, hopefully we get some races in after this weekend. Yes. And then, you know get what? Some... We get some races in. We might be able to do an interesting podcast next week. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, because there'll be something happened <laughs> right. on Facebook that we can talk about. Ryan's birthday's interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting birthday. Made it to 50. We should have your mom 50. in as a guest. I never thought of that. She could have sat in the chair and told us great stories about her. Lovely young son, Ryan. Probably a good thing she didn't show up then. Dang but, it. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything. Yeah, I, I was boring as a kid, too. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I was. I was boring. boring. I mean, we, I, we, we, may become, we may find <laughs> educational. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Things we can we use had a, against you. The less you the know. Law. The less you We know. had a quick Ryan story on our Zoom today. We did? You did? Yeah, about Virginia told the story about Ryan taking the bike to school when he wasn't supposed to oh, and get a flat, flat tire. tire. He'd walk all the way back up to your grandma's place. Oh, no. Taking the bike to school. You rode your bike to school but weren't supposed to, and then it got a flat tire, and then you had to take it back to your grandma's house? Yeah, something like that. Is this, was this that traumatizing? You've forgotten it? You've blocked you, it out you know, of your memory? I don't. You know what, Ryan? You, you are right. You did lead a boring child. <laughs> no. I, 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 <laughs> we have now confirmed that I don't fact. think that story's about me. I don't remember that ever happening. <laughs> A lot of things you forget when you was a kid. Wait till you're 50. Uh, be there in a beer or so. Shit, I can't remember 50. I know, it's been decades ago. Well, we had a few races last weekend, so if they want to watch it on the replay on IMCA TV. Head out and get them. Feel free. Head out and get them. There'll be some, uh, be some racing this weekend on IMCA TV. Somewhere. Lots. We hope. Yes. We hope. Just because It'll be dry get, somewhere. Yeah, just because if maybe you get rained out and you've never watched a race from somewhere, just go buy that race for some night. That's right. Maybe you've never seen the racing from Waco. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Beatrice, Beatrice has weekly on IMC Weekly. TV. 
141 again. Mm -hmm. Boone. Boone, Eagle. It's gonna start I think Eagle's up. got figure eights races this this Saturday night. You can watch on IMCA TV. Figure Eagle does? Figure eight. Finger yeah. eight races? Really? Yeah, after the races, they're going to do some figure eight racing. Sounds like trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. This will involved? be one of the mild... One of the milder things Roger does. So, <laughs> will they use school buses for that, or what are they going to use for that? No, they're going to have real figure eight racers come in, from what I see. Ooh, so it's like a real race. It's not like some. It's not like the bus Mike races. Van Genneren then, right? Yeah, he was a big. He, figure that's how he started. Guy. It was a figure eight. Van Genneren was huge. He was in that. good too. Oh, he, he was, was. He was good at it, and he had like one of those really fancy figure eight cars that you don't run into the other figure eight car with. Yeah, it was called an. It was called a modified. Right. It was yeah, it was like an IMCA car. But yeah, it, no, it was. It was, it, and it was one of the ones where you don't hit though. No, it's versus one that you, some of the ones where they actually. They're well, I don't like, think you kind of like purposely border, try to hit anybody they, in the X. But, but they they borderline on demo derbies. Right. They're really kind of yeah. Some of those figure eight things are pretty. They're like that. Yeah. A little some more of them careless are careless than others. Right. Some of them are really fun like that, where they're kind of like careless demo derbies, yeah. and then you have the serious ones. Which well, I don't know if you've seen some of the roundy round racing here lately, but some of those have looked like demo derbies. <laughs> roundy <laughs> round racing. <laughs> we have. Yeah, we've had some roundy round derbies. Yeah. It you've happens. seen some crashes. It happens. And people crash. It happens. Sometimes our shaft falls. All right. Let's rain. wrap it up, Mr. Jerry. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Happy birthday, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it. You still it. have a puppy for the ride no. home. Oh, <laughs> great. There you go. Great. Rizzo will be mad. So, great. hey, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back uh, for episode eight of season three sometime. Don't know when. Pay attention. It might be Facebook Live. It might be like Brett said, after hours. After dark. After dark. Then it'd be in the morning. Gotta get some chicks to come in here. <gasps> Can they yeah. jump on trampolines? I'll pass on that one. <laughs> go, back, go back to the old man show stuff. Yes. Yep. You can be, yeah. maybe we'll dress you up the like best. a little kid out selling beer on no, the corner no. to the old ladies. <laughs> hey, nice lady, you need to have this to make you look uh, better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Uh, catch some great IMC racing close to your hometown if you can't. It's on IMCA TV and get that replay pass and go back and watch anything that you want to that's been archived over the last handful of years. Thanks again. Happy birthday to that guy.